G'day YouTube, how the hell are you? What I want to do today is show you how to use the custom button mapping feature on the Xbox One for the controllers. I want to show you how exactly to find it and then how to customize your buttons to, uh, to come up with a better experience for your Xbox One controllers. So what you want to do is go to the settings, um, settings menu in the Xbox One and then come down to connect and devices. Now in this little menu here, you'll see connect and device and accessories. So we want to go over to the device and accessories tab. We want to, uh, to obviously click on the Xbox One wireless controller. And there's a couple of options in here. As you can see, you can assign to somebody, you can buzz so you can find the controller. You can also update the controller if there's an update available for it. And of course you can come down and click this new function here which is called button mapping. So we're going to do exactly that today. So let's click that. Uh, and then we're going to click configure. Now, um, normally you can see here, um, visually from a, from a YouTube point of view, there's not a hell of a lot happening on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the top left hand corner there. And, uh, and then we're going to click on some of these options here. So first up, we're just going to go and click button mapping. And uh, from here, you can pretty much decide what button goes to uh, to what function. So uh, button to remap. So we might want to remap the A button or any of these buttons here. So you can go A button, B button, X, Y, left bumper, right bumper, left thumbstick click, right thumbstick click, D-pad, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right. Now, when would when would you use this? When would you logically come in here and remap this. So for me, um, the way I would do it is all first person shooters, for example, uh, have a slightly different configuration. And uh, and for me, what I would want to do is map them so that every first person shooter I go into has exactly the same button configuration. Now for me, the, uh, the button configuration that works best is the Call of Duty button configuration. So uh, when I go into a game like Halo 5, I want to be prepared and I want to have that um, that controller mapped in the same way as, uh, as Call of Duty. Look, and the same goes for racing games. So um, you can basically configure the controller to every time you pick up a, a racing game, it's configured exactly the way you like it. So it's very, very easy. So all you want to have, want to do is select a button to remap. So let's go and, and click the, um, let's go and click the right bumper and we just want to change it to the left bumper. So there you go. All we've done is swapped our, our right bumper over here to the left bumper. Now, I don't know why the hell you'd want to do that. Um, but like I said, if that's a functionality that then resolves a certain scenario for you, then absolutely go ahead and do it. So you can go and make a whole bunch of these changes. So, you know, we might want to change the A button to the X button. We might want to change the B button to the Y button. Now, as you can see here on the, the right hand side, the controller actually shows you a reconfigured version of essentially what you've just done. All right, now one thing you are definitely wanting to be conscious of, if you jump out of this menu and you go back one level, what is actually gonna happen is the reconfiguration has already occurred. So um, you might come down here and be clicking the A button on the controller and look, nothing's happening. So you're thinking, oh crap, what, what, what's, why isn't it working? What's going on? And the reality is the functionality has, uh, has already changed on the controller. So right now, as I'm looking at this controller, things have already changed. So that's very, very interesting. So if I wanna click uh, invert the right stick Y axis, um, I can't click my A button as it is on the controller anymore. I've actually gotta go and click the X button uh, to make that functionality happen. So that's um, you know very interesting to, uh, to, to do. So Again, if I want to go back in the button mapping here, I've got to click the X button. So as I do, normally I would click the A button, but, but because we've reconfigured it now, uh, things have already begin, begun to, uh, to change. Now I want to go and revert all this, restore back to default, and 
we're good to go. All right, so now when we jump out of here, we can come back and click the A button to just get rid of that invert right Y stick axis and the controller is completely back to its original default setting. So the way I would do this and the way I recommend it for you is to get an understanding of what game you are targeting for controller remapping. So for me, it's making sure all of my first person shooters are set up exactly the way of Call of Duty. That way I can, uh, can go and pick up a controller and get into a game and know that it will exactly be configured exactly the way I want it to be. So it becomes natural and intuitive regardless of what first person shooter I go and pick up. Look, the only caveat to that is any game that uh, is a little bit tricky and has some unique features with buttons, uh, you need to be conscious of that and I think you need to be aware of that when um, when you go and remap it. But, uh, but there you go guys, look, that's uh, a first look at the whole button mapping uh, customization feature on the Xbox One for the Xbox One's controller. It's an awesome controller. Uh, I still think it's the best controller on the market, particularly for first person shooters. And uh, if it gives you the ability to customize it that little bit further, then uh, all power to the player. All right, guys, look, there you go. Look, if you've liked today's video, please remember to hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, get involved in the conversation via the comment section down below. And I will see you all in the next video. And keep in mind, guys, I do have the uh, the Xbox One Elite controller on order. So I'm really keen to, uh, to show you that in a couple of weeks' time. So uh, looking forward to that. All right, guys, see you in the next video.